Hello everyone, it's me, Clayton. I just finished the Netflix anime Doro Hidoro, which was produ produced by Studio Mappa and is available in both Japanese and English. Now, much, my, much like a lot of Netflix anime, this, w this was an anime that originally aired back in the winter season of 2020, and Netflix had picked it up and, final and finally decided to release it today, which is allowing us who are still stuck at home to enjoy something a little insane. Such as, you know, other than the fact that we're all already kind of going insane. But what is this story all about? Well, it's about a man named Kaiman who, was who had his head transformed into a lizard's head by a sorcerer. You see, the sorcerers live in, in, this, in another world. Th this w and... Kaiman and some other humans live in this in this place called the Hole, basically this post-apocalyptic, desperate and violent violent kind of world, where you need to have your wits about you in order to survive. Thankfully, Kaiman has a tough fighter and, and great chef named Nikaido who's constantly with him. So his task is to find the sorcerer who ended up causing him to have this lizard head, while Nikaido also has to find out issues about her own past especially since she happens to be a sorcerer herself, she, and she doesn't want to get on Kaiman's bad side. So, the, the story is definitely filled with familiar elements, from our protagonist having to find someone who did, committed an injustice to him in the past, with him having a badass female sidekick. It's something we've seen in several different anime and several different TV series that we've seen in before, but it's the story itself being something we've seen before isn't an issue because it's the execution that stands out. And the execution certainly is quite interesting with this sh series. Taking inspiration from post-apocalyptic and and even and even some more uh, insane video game type of scenarios. In fact, some with some images kind of reminded me of Pink Floyd's The Wall and their and their insanity. The, the world of Doro Hidoro is very grungy and gritty, but not in a sense that makes it feel overly dark and depressing. It just feels rather quirky in its own way. From the, from the factions of devils, to the various differences between our world and theirs, to many of the character designs that remind me of Mad Max mixed with a fever dream, it definitely feels like this is a world that was just oozing with someone with a very distinct kind of imagination. You can look at one image here at the end of this anime and you can immediately tell it's Doro Hidoro. Because of that, it just has a very distinct style that's very easy to get into. On top of that, the characters involved are a lot of fun too. Kaiman is not a typical hero in, when it comes down to it. His first thought of, me, of when he meets a sorcerer is to bite the sorcerer's head to see if that person's the one who committed the spell on him. And he's also a, a big fan of Gyoza. Basically, Kaiman is kind of an insane guy, but the fun kind of insane. Nikaido happens to be a lot of fun too. She has a lot of interesting stuff regarding her past. She is a really badass fighter who gets to show off her skills a lot in action scenes. Plus, I just find her rather cute. And her English voice, Reba Burr, does certainly does help. And even the villain of the of the series, or at least what the series has the closest to a villain, in N, is pretty is pretty cool too. His backstory is interesting. He's got a really big organization with tons of subordinates, all of whom are cool characters in their own right. Keith Silverstein delivers a chilling performance as him, and he and he does manage to be a little bit sympathetic when it comes to his motives and how he ends up be, being feeling like he's been treated by the world. And like I said, even his subordinates, like Shin and Noi, happen to have their own interesting character dynamics and are well-voiced as well. The animation is also a highlight. Even though there is some CGI used, it's definitely not distracting at all. And, it does, and the 3D camera actually helps out a lot during the very impactful and very brutal fight scenes. It should be said that this is a mature show. There's a lot of gore, there's body parts being torn off of people, buckets of blood sh spread everywhere, there's some nudity being in, in the series as well, there's implied drug use. So if you have 
if you are triggered by any of those things, eject now. This series is definitely doesn't care who it offends or what it go or who is going to be offended by it. But if you're fine with all those things, you'll love it because the series never stops being nuts until its big conclusion. I do think that if they make a season two of this series, that there's still a lot of stuff that could be fleshed out and stuff that could be uh, expanded upon. But as far as a 12 episode first season goes, I say Doro Hidoro is the right kind of insane that could definitely brighten up our troubled times. That's why I'm giving Doro Hidoro a 9 out of 10. See you next time.